Hey YouTube, so it's uh, me again. So I did something that I didn't think I would end up doing with another beta operating system. I was so impressed with the performance of Windows 7 on my Mac that I decided to perform a little experiment and install it on my old laptop. Uh, so this is it's three years old, uh, Toshiba Satellite. Um, Nothing's been done to it. It's all original hardware. One gig of RAM, Intel Centrino uh, processor. Originally pre-installed with Windows XP Media Center. Uh, it's been I'm for probably the last two years. I've been going back and forth between that, um, the original XP uh, OS, and a Windows Vista upgrade. Uh, never handled Vista all that well. Um, but I figured I'd give it a try uh, with Windows 7 and actually I've been quite impressed to be honest it runs Windows 7 better than it did with the original uh, Windows XP Media Center operating system which is quite impressive considering XP is seven years old considerably lighter than Windows 7 but it's faster and there is and even the battery life uh, this battery is also fairly old on, I don't know if you could see that there, but on uh, Windows Vista, the best I'm able to get is an hour. Here I've got an hour and 45 minutes, which itself is a big improvement. Of course, who knows if that's uh, accurate, because uh, like this is a uh, beta operating system. Um, but oh, so far it works really well. And actually, uh, with this one, because I still have been unable to get um, Arrow uh, functioning in uh, VMware Fusion on my uh, Mac. Uh, so here gives you an idea of what this looks like. So shove over here. And actually, I really like the new uh, taskbar now that I've been playing with it a little bit. Let's just see. So, like I was saying in my previous video, Veer, I find it similar to the dock on OS X similar concept and you can add items that will uh, automatically appear like I said the default on this is Internet Explorer uh, Windows Explorer uh, media player and I've now got uh, messenger and I've actually got the new Windows Live Essentials on there alright so hover over Internet Explorer and there we go so with arrow functioning this is what the tabs look like similar to on Vista when you scroll over although the little thumbnails on Vista were completely pointless here. They actually have a point to them because they no longer use the tab system with the taskbar. And actually, I think it gives it a much cleaner look. Uh, so let's just let pull up my YouTube channel. Then as you scroll over them, it brings up the page. It's the same thing I've been, uh, Windows Live Essentials as they call it, there's MSN, so it's a new MSN window. So, so far, not too bad, I've been, like I said, I've been quite impressed with it so far, still irritated with the start menu, but, uh, Considering how impressed I have been with this operating system, I'm willing to live with that for now. Uh, so, I might actually upgrade or purchase an upgrade for my primary PC, which is this guy over here, which actually was just I recently reinstalled Windows on this, so that's why it has the uh, default HP wallpaper on it. Um, but you now I remember my experience on an older computer that I no longer have. Uh, it was an old Cicero Custom, a uh, brand that Future Shop used to carry a long time ago. Um, installing Vista on that thing was a disaster. Nothing ever worked properly. In fact, I still have that original Vista upgrade. There you go. So I was one of those unfortunate people who bought Windows Vista. You can see it there. The very first week. Um, and it was a disaster, and I'm not going to go into that because that's a whole other video. But um, I'm confident enough that I won't be installing the beta on my primary Vista machine just because, to be on the safe side, I do need this functional 
um, although I use the Mac now for all my important stuff, but still, um, or at least I'll wait until a little further on in the beta cycle, say maybe until uh, release candidate one comes along for Windows 7 before I put it on there. But in the meantime, my old laptop has a new use, and actually, to be honest, this laptop itself is probably the most reliable computer I've ever had. Um, this got me through a good portion of my undergrad when I went back, well I was 26 when I went back um, and I bought this shortly thereafter uh, so yeah this thing's been to hell and back uh, was replaced with the MacBook a year ago and I figured it was probably on its last legs but no this thing keeps going uh, knock on wood but yeah me and my uh, me and my girlfriend use this as our living room computer, so it's uh, it's still in use, and uh, I will be disappointed when uh, this thing goes away, as I actually like the keyboard on it too, and I'm not that impressed with the current design of uh, Toshiba laptops, so hopefully we can keep this one going for a while. Uh, but anyway, so that's my uh, latest Vista update, and yeah, I've got the gadgets up there now, and still running Norton 360. I'm going to also try the uh, demo of the uh, Kaspersky. Uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to be uh, their 2010 uh, internet security suite. Um, so I'll see how that works with this. So far actually Norton is uh, pretty smooth on here and it, this version of uh, Norton 360 boots up faster on Windows 7 at least as far as I can see uh, than it does on Windows XP or uh, Windows Vista. But anyway, so uh, yeah, that's all I have for now, uh, but I'll keep playing with it, and I will be giving you more reviews shortly in the coming days. So, have a great day, and thanks for watching the videos.